Hello and welcome to another Baldy Thames Reviews. And today I thought I'd do another quick review on the Bosch Serie 4. You'll see that I've done other videos on it um, under Baldy Thames Reviews. But a few weeks ago I did a uh, quick review and demonstration of the 15 minute quick wash facility on the uh, Bosch Serie 4. And it seems to have gone, that video seems to have gone down pretty well, quite a lot of views. So I thought I'd do another one, but this time doing pretty much exactly the same thing, doing a, you know, washing a few bits and pieces, but with the 30 minute quick wash facility. So without any further ado, let's get on with it and see how well the Bosch does on the 30 minute wash cycle. Okay, so here we are with the Bosch Serie 4, about to start the 30 minute quick wash. Uh, I've already got uh, our liquids there ready to go. We've got some Ferry Non-Bio in the pot there. On the right, the blue stuff and some Ferry Fabric Conditioner on the left and the little white cap there, all ready to go. Got uh, some little bit of dirty washing here, just a couple of t-shirts there, which we'll throw into the machine. Ooh, try and throw into the machine. And we've got, they've got a tea towel there that needs to be done as well. So that can all go in. I've got our little container there that we just goes in there on top of the washing. So that's all got to do on this. So we'll close that and next thing we'll do is just pop the fabric conditioner into the middle tray there. Close that up, that's ready to go. Now on another video I did the 15 minute quick wash and what you have to do to get to the quick washes is just turn the dial until the black mark lines up with the super quick and to get it on the 15 minute the other time I had to press the speed eco button but it but with the 30 minute quick wash you'll notice it actually goes to 30 minutes by default so that's all you have to do is just turn that knob there down to super quick wash and you're ready to go it's worth noting that on the 30 minute one your load capacity goes up. Um, you don't get anything like the eight kilo on either of them, but with the 15 minutes uh, wash, you're restricted to two kilograms, but on the 30, it goes up to 3.5 kilograms. Uh, not that those few bits I put in there weigh anywhere near 3.5, probably don't even weigh one kilogram, but uh, uh, it's just nice to know that you, you can do a few more clothes on the 30 minutes which kind of makes sense because, uh, you know, you've got longer to clean the um, clothes in that time. So it makes sense that you can put a bit more into the machine. So let's just hit start. There we go, the machine is locked and it's going. And I'm just gonna time it here. So I'm just on this online stopwatch. So there we go. It's obviously got the it's obviously got the timer there, it starts on 30, that will count down as well, but we'll get a more accurate indication as to how long this wash actually goes for. By the way, uh, my wife told me the other day that one thing she really loves about this new machine is this countdown feature on here. You know exactly how long you've got to go so you can plan things around your wash quite a lot better. You know, so if it says 15 minutes, I suppose she knows that she's got time to do 15 minutes worth of other stuff uh, before having to come down and empty out the, uh, the washing machine. But anyway, it's going now, so it's on 30. Just gone down to 29, so you can see what I mean about the fact that it counts down on that display. Another thing we've been really impressed with about this machine we, we've had it a good few months now a good at least four months and haven't done one of these videos on this machine for a, a fair while but uh, yeah we're very very happy with it and it's so quiet 
Um, we had someone around the other day actually, and they commented uh, on how quiet it was. You yeah, know, just standing outside the kitchen here, around the corner. They they said they couldn't even, or didn't even know it was on until we told them. So it's a very very quiet machine. Very, very quiet, as you can tell. So what I'll do is we'll leave that until it's nearing the end. Won't bore you with a whole 30 minute cycle, but rest assured it's going and it won't be interrupted. So you'll get a fairly good in indication on how this performs. So let's have a look, got uh, two and a half minutes in, so I've got another 27 minutes. So I think I'll get, a, get myself a cup of coffee in that mug there, you can see on the right there. Have that and I'll see you later. Okay, we're 23 minutes in. Sorry, we're 23 minutes to go. So uh, we're all, already about seven minutes in. So I'm just holding this camera literally about two feet away from the machine, give you an idea of the sound level. Very, very quiet. So it just boiled that kettle up there and when that was boiling away that was considerably louder than the washing machine so I move out here probably about four foot from the machine. That's the sound you can expect. And that's just the other side of the wall and the door. I can assure you it is still going. I don't know if you can quite see it moving around there, but it is going. Barely, barely hear it once the door's closed. Amazingly, amazingly quiet. So, 20 minutes to go. And it's, well, at the moment it's tallying up quite nicely with the stopwatch here. So, it seems that timer seems to be fairly accurate. That's saying 11 minutes gone, that's saying 19 minutes to go. So yeah, fairly accurate. So it's just started pumping out for the first time, right on about 17 minutes. So what it will do now is it'll go into a rinse cycle. It didn't do many rinses on the 15 minutes one it'll probably do one or two more rinses on this we'll count them up see how many exactly we're just going into a bit of a spin just to get rid of the soapy water again we're only a couple of feet away from the machine and it's not this isn't a full 1400 spin it's but it is a fairly fast spin so quiet and if I touch it yeah there's a tiny bit of vibration but not a lot so we'll leave that to go into the first rinse cycle in a minute so we're 15 minutes in or 15 minutes to go 
and it sounds like a little bit of uh, water is going through to begin the first rinse. And there we go, rinsing away. Okay, nine minutes to go, and we are pumping out for the second time or ending the first rinse. So we've got, with nine minutes to go, we've probably got time for at least two more rinses, maybe even three more rinses. Who knows, we'll find, soon find out. I thought on the 15 minute one, everything was a bit rushed. Uh, you didn't get much of a spin and the rinses seemed to go rather quickly. I think with 30 minutes to play with, we'll probably have much more time for more rinses and more spin, which should result in a better wash. And the 15 minute wash was good, but this should be even better and not so limited. We're all pumped out, have another little spin, and then it will be another fill. We are going into the second rinse cycle. I think I stand corrected. We're not going to get uh, more than two rinses, I don't think, because we've only got three minutes to go. So it looks like you only get two rinses again, but they last for longer. So perhaps have more time to get the soap out than on the 15 minute quick wash. But we've only got three minutes to go. I can't see this ending on time to be fair. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna go over time because it needs to finish this rinsing, pump the water out and then go into the final spin and do all that in well under three minutes, probably closer to two minutes now. So we'll see how long this lasts. There you go, it is rinsing nicely as you can see there. Okay, pumping out for the final time. Well, funny enough, it still says it's on three minutes there. So uh, it's obviously not a real three minutes. Having said that, I think it's quite close because if we go over to the stopwatch, over there, we're looking at 28 minutes 50. So, according to this, we've just got about a minute to the 30 minute mark. But it's going to definitely go over 30 minutes because it's going to have to spin or finish draining out, and then go into its full spin, and from there kind of end the cycle and unlatch the door. Can't see all of that happening in 45 seconds. So it'd be interesting to see what this timer ends up on as well. So the spin cycle there is telling me that we're just about to go into the spin right now with a minute to go, or a minute on this countdown timer anyway, to go. And there you go, it's just spooling up now. into its full spin. Okay, we're sort of into a pretty fast spin there now. I'm not sure if it's a full 1400, I don't think so, but it is a pretty fast spin. And the fact that uh, we're literally, uh, well, the camera's literally two feet away from the machine, and if you can hear me speaking, I'm only speaking in a normal voice, not loud or anything. So if you can hear me above this spin, I think that'll give you a an idea just how quiet this machine is. There we go, we've ended. And let's see what we've got on the stopwatch. 33 minutes and 50 seconds. So let's uh, stop that. So it was actually probably more like 33, 45 actually, because it took me a few seconds to get up here. So it's a little bit over time, but not a lot, about three and a half minutes over time. So let's get out. Let's get over here and see what we're about. 
Actually, just I'll just turn that off before that beeping comes back. Um, one annoying thing about this machine that I find a bit annoying is the beeping that it does when the wash is finished, wash cycle is finished. It just keeps on beeping until you turn that knob to the off position at the top there, and um, which does get a bit annoying. You can actually disable that beeping sound. There's another guy on YouTube that uh, explains how to do that, and I might do a video explaining how to do that. Um, I'd turn the beeping off in a heartbeat, but my wife actually likes it, likes hearing when it's finished. So I'm going to sort of leave it activated for now. But anyway, let's see what the uh, sort of uh, wash is. This is what I like. This, yeah, that door actually goes 100 and, yeah, 480 degree angle back. So it's fully open. Uh, whereas other machines, this is a tumble dryer I'm going to be using it in at the minute. And it, that doesn't go away, but that's the full limit of its travel back. So... Although it's still good access, but it's not quite as good as the Bosch. But anyway, let's see what we've got. Let's get that thing out first of all. Again, it feels pretty dry. It smells pretty fresh as well. And I don't think that's going to take very long in the tumble dryer. So let's just throw that in there. Let's get the other two things out of here. Tea towel and another T-shirt. Let's put them all in there. Let's close that machine. Uh, let's just do that for about 20 minutes. Oh, that's considerably louder, that machine. But yeah, the Bosch, I think, has performed really, really well. Okay, so that's two T-shirts and a tea towel out of the 30 minutes wash and then we had a quick 20 minutes in the tumble dryer and they're now adequately dry and everything and folded up ready to go in the cupboard and yeah it does smell very very fresh indeed um this this washing so it's very very nicely cleaned on the 30 minute wash and to be fair, on the when it was on the fifteen minute wash, the they the, the completed items did actually sort of smell quite strongly of the um, fabric uh, conditioner or washing liquid, whichever. As, whereas these don't smell nearly as strongly. So I don't know if that's because I just put too much in last time of the uh, liquids, or whether it just didn't have enough rinsing time really on the fifteen minute cycle. But yeah, when it comes to a choice between the 15 and the 30, I, I would say that unless you're very, very hard pressed uh, for time, go for the 30 minute one. I mean, I've just, yeah, sort of done the 30 minute, which in real time translated into sort of 30, just under 34 minutes plus a 20 minute dry. So it's about 55 minutes. And I think it was sort of 35 minutes for uh, the 15 minute one plus 20 minutes drying time as well. So you're only looking at about 20 minutes more uh, between the 15 and the 30 when you account for some drying time as well. So really, unless you really can't spare that extra 20 minutes and you really need to do the 15, I would sort of go for the 30 minute quick wash whenever possible but that's just my own thoughts so you can watch my other video about the 15 minute wash get an idea of that as well so feel free to do that and also feel free to comment below you know your thoughts about this subject and if you want to subscribe to my channel please feel free to do so that was the 30 minute quick wash feature on the Bosch Siri 4 washing machine. Just a quick demonstration and some more thoughts on both the quick wash cycle and also a few more thoughts about the Bosch Siri 4 machine in general. We've had it considerably longer now than we had it in the other videos uh, on this channel. We're about four months into the ownership now and we're still both me and my wife Lorraine are still really, really happy with the Bosch and the way it performs, the way it cleans. 
and just how quiet it, it is as well. Just so, so quiet. So I recommend the Bosch Series 4 generally and also for the 30 minute quick wash cycle as well. So that's been another Baldy Tim's Reviews. Thanks for watching.